Parry unable to get past Raymond van Barneveld. And Barney goes through and he'll face another Kiwi in the quarterfinals in the form of the Cowboy, Mark McGrath. But the cool hand of the Dutchman, five times world champion Raymond van Barneveld, goes through on night number one of the Auckland Darts Masters. Take a look at the stats and it's a very tidy performance by both and very strong three dart averages. So if you take a look now at how the draw, we're at the halfway point. Yes, that's right, only the halfway point of night number one. And the one big upset is Mark McGrath beating Michael Smith, the fourth seed, and Barney will face Mark McGrath in the next round. Another solid performance, Ron Harrington, by a Kiwi. Yes, I mean, Warren, we knew he was going to play well. He's the most experienced player in the field. You know, he, he lost to Barney here only just. He's beaten Michael in Sydney in a World Series event. But the three darts he missed at double top in the middle part of that game, that was controlled to Warren. And he lost control by missing them. And then Barney gets confident. Good stats from Barney, though. 418 is over the 95 average. Good percentage on doubles. So a good, solid performance. But a very strong start. He looked the most confident of the big-name players tonight. Yes, I mean, uh, the big-name players have had a bit, a bit of a turmoil, to be quite honest. And, and that ripple effect will go in that back room, but uh, maybe that Barney's settled them down a bit. All right, there's still more to come as we move into the second half of night number one with the defending champion just around the corner. Yes, and the defending champion, Kyle Anderson, is the warm favourite here at dollar ten. But I can tell you the chat amongst the New Zealand players before a dart was thrown today would be if there was an upset, they thought Hopai Puha was the man to do it. So $6, a bit of a value bet now, considering they thought he was the Kiwi data in the best form. Let's see how the defending champ goes. So another Trans-Tasman showdown to look forward to. Carl Anderson is Hopai Puha. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Auckland, New Zealand! And the Auckland Dance Masters presented by TAB and Burger King. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to meet the players. Would you please welcome in his first televised event, ladies and gentlemen, Hopai Puha! Ladies and gentlemen from Australia, here's the reigning and defending Auckland Dance Masters champion, the original Carl Anderson!
Trans Tasman battle number two for the night. It's match number five as we move into the second half of night number one. The call from Rod Harrington and Stuart Pike. And what a night it's been. Three very close calls for the Kiwis. One New Zealand victory, Mark McGrath against Michael Smith. And here we have the defending Auckland champion, Kyle Anderson, who's had a bit of a rough, tough year on the hockey. Uh, the Australian remembers fabulous victory here against Corey Camping 12 months ago. His opponent is the number one ranked player in New Zealand at the moment. And Hopai Pua has won four New Zealand tour events on the spin. That's why he is the number one on the DP NZ Order of Merit. And another emerging talent we've seen. John Hurring come close to beating Rob Cross. Ben Robb come close to beating Simon Whitlock. Warren Parry giving it a real go against Raymond Van Barneveld. Mark McGrath beating Michael Smith. What can Pua do here against Kyle Anderson? New Zealand number one against a defending Auckland champ. Yes, and just going back to Warren Parry against Barney. Parry had three clear darts at double top in the middle part of that game. And, uh, that would have been to take the lead, and that would have been control. But Barney nicked it and went on and had a win. But it's been a great night here in Auckland, I have to say. We've seen some great darts from the, the qualifiers. 57. And we've got some talent coming your way after this game as well. The young man, Irwin, a lot of talk about him down here in New Zealand. Easy to. Of course, Cody Harris. He will be taking on the world number one, Michael Van Gerwen. Anderson finishes the evening off, the world match play champion. 60. We're just talking in the last game about how, certainly I think this year, that the standard of the qualifiers across the board has improved and that, you know, it is evolution, not revolution, but the World Series is definitely working. Well, also what they're doing in, in these countries, and it's happening everywhere, they're having, you know, pro tours where they're playing against each other all the time and a bit extra money is being pumped in. So, uh, you know, people are taking it more seriously and more people are playing the game, so that's how you you breed a better dart player, and it's it's working. And also, I think in Australia and New Zealand, they're they're looking at they're trying to start a junior tour as well, you know, a bit like the development tour back home in the UK. So there is a natural progression uh, for the dart stars down under to actually reach the grade and make their mark 94. and follow their heroes. Yes, well, Sue, you have to look to the future, otherwise you'll end up hitting the brick wall, you stagnate. And uh, it's proven back home that the youth and development tours and the, the challenge and Q School has absolutely proven to bring quality dart players through. Uh, Pew Hutt's going for a 150. Two treble 19s with left double 18. Needs to find a treble just to put some pressure on Kyle Anderson. 58. One hundred and twenty. One hundred. So chance here for Pua. Thirty-three-year-old from Christchurch. Great dart to leave tops. Oh, that's unlucky. Highly required. He thought about it. Double ten for Kyle Anderson. And you on the first leg. Well, Kyle mighty Anderson. relieved. It Second took the defending Auckland champ Rogers. 19 darts to take that opening Eight. leg. Eight. 
Well, apparently, as we just see him stick in the first 180 of the match. And I know a sport that you love, Stu Pugh, who apparently is an extremely good golfer. And I know you follow the golf very well. Not an addict like you, Rob. But yeah, very good all round sportsman, uh, Pooh. A, a, a pro golfer on both the New Zealand and Australia Pro Am tours. You have to hate people like that, don't you? They were just very good at everything. Yeah, you mentioned that Kyle Anders has not had the best of years, well, in the last 12 months since this tournament. And you're right, Stu, he's just not got into his game. He can't find that scoring power that won in this tournament last year. He's very edgy as well. Yeah, Melbourne 100. next weekend, Brisbane the week after. Tickets still available for both. The World Series, great success in Melbourne 12 months ago, and the World Series debut in Brisbane. Later this month. Should be fun. It'll be great entertainment. Sixty-four. Yeah, sensible last dart there from Pure, leaving the, the straight hundred. Could give him two darts at double top. Well, he's going to get at least three. Well, he's going to get half a dozen from a hundred. Just stay straight. If you don't hit a treble, just do not miss the twenty. Well, double sixteen now. And that is the straight hundred there. kill. Oh, it makes it one well, leg a piece. It was a very first. confident checkout, Stu. Yeah, they reckon he's a really good player, and he's got one hundred and forty. All the talent. Four New Zealand Pro Tour wins on the spin. 96. Deserves his place here for sure. Fifty-seven. But for Kyle Anderson. The biggest win of his career in Auckland last year, beating Corey Cabby 11-10. He beat Gary Anderson, he beat Simon Whitlock, he beat James Wade, and then he beat Cabby in that final. But it's just been a real struggle in 2018. He's just had two quarter-final appearances on them and Whitlock, but. Real dip in form for Kyle. Well, that leaves the bullseye. He's going to go for it. Just on the east side. He's going to come back. Yes, you'd have thought after the win here last year that he would have pushed on even more, you know, with that confidence that gives you. However, he, he, he's gone backwards, hasn't he? Good run to the to the semi-finals of the European Championship. In a nine darter as well against Michael Van Gerwen in a losing cause. And you thought that coming on top of what he did here would be the real kicker, and it hasn't proved to be. Double five. Puha, remember, took out the hundred to win the last leg. And he's gonna get another chance. Missed doubles from Kyle Anderson. The Australian gives the New Zealand a fighting chance. And he's going to get two darts at double top to break the throw. Only and needs the one. The That's his two legs on the trot. He's taken out the hundred. Different ways, but the same result. Two legs to one. Puha leads Kyle Anderson. Well, you and I will remember Kyle Anderson making his World Series debut all the way back in Sydney in 2013. At Luna Park in 62. Sydney, the first time that the World Series came to Australia. 
he was a qualifier. He lost 6-1 to Phil Taylor in the first round. He's come a long way since, but... 60. A real dip in form. He was disappointing in the world match play as well. First round exit against Van Barneveld. Never really in that match. And it happens. You know, all the top pros 96. go through periods like this. It's how you respond. You know, we saw Simon Whitlock earlier, didn't we? Drop down the rankings outside the top 16 and has fought and battled his way back into the top 10. Yeah, it's, it's the consistency on the scoring power that Anderson has lost. I mean, he, he has got a funny grip on the dart where he holds the dart off. 60. As he's bringing it back, and so his wrist has got to react more than any other dart player. As we see it here, look, it's actually pointing well down to the left floor. So his wrist has got to over -react, react as it comes back to get it straight. Oh, and that's why, you know, when you're not playing well, that's when you will lose that consistency. feeling that the, the Kiwis will push the established world order on the opening night here in Auckland so it has proved to be 51 well, chance here to get good control well 13s is normally the route Oh, doing. He's going to get two darts of the double when he comes three. back. And this would be for a two leg clear advantage. Well, that hit the barrel of the first dart. 80. That's why you require 50. 18 for double 16. Looks like the chosen route for a third consecutive leg. He just looks very, very comfortable on the stage, doesn't he? No part two Enjoying it. Plus three out of four on his doubles. He's not doing anything wrong. 140. And now it's going to... We're going to have to see some character from Carl Anderson. Needs to get his game round. Cannot afford to lose this one against the throw. 91. There's the averages. Puha. And 92. <clears throat> I know we, we're used to seeing the top pros over the 100, but um, I tell you what, first round matches, 100. very rarely do we see them over 100 in this World Series. You have to say at the moment, 92, more than good enough to beat Kyle Anderson. Yeah, he just had to check himself there, the delivery on that third dart to his hand. 140. <laughs> 57. There's not a lot happening here for Kyle Anderson. 83 average. Good recovery. Recovery. Yeah, when he's missing, he's not missing by very far, is he? Where Carl is having some real wild darts on that block of dart. It's not so much the barrel that's it's the flight, because that's where the point of the next dart was coming in, and he's had the switch here. Look how low that is. Well, has he missed a trick there? Kyle Anderson, 160. One poor visit there from the Kiwi, who really should be a lot closer. He's taken out two tons. Yep. First one with three darts, second one with two darts. This is going to need three darts, treble 18. 
Double 16. 74. Close. Required 20. To stay in it. A real he struggle for Kyle eight. Anderson. Kyle but he's hanging on in there. He trails 3-2. Game on. The problem is, he's that break of throw down. So if you heard, just hold on to his throw and he cannot lose this match. And out of the two, he is One. scoring the more consistent. Well, Anderson's got to find a couple of sub-15 dark legs. And coming up next, snake bite Peter Wright, the colourful Peter Wright. Against the young man that they're all talking about down here. You know when I mean not just one or two been talking to me about him, a lot of people do. Very highly thought of. One hundred. Well there we have it. The first one eight C four Kyle Anderson. Much needed. 21 80s for the tournament. Remember, if there are 80 maximums, then starting on Sunday here in New Zealand only, double cheeseburgers, 250, triple cheeseburgers, 350. All courtesy of Burger King. I think it'll be burgers all round. <laughs> They'll be well over 80 in this tournament. 100. Absolutely brilliant setup. Leaves him double 16. Now these are the chances that Carl Anderson's got to take. Bullseye he needs. Bullseye he gets. He gets the breaker throwback. And that was pressure for you. Pulled that out of the bag, did the Australian Carl Anderson. And now he's got back to three legs apiece. Well, well, well. Who does suck it? <laughs> Have been in the game at all. It comes up with a 12 darter, but that was terrific against the darts. His opponent was sat on 32. The 180, 87 finish on the ball. 135. It's as if he's woken up. Well, you need to, because if he didn't, the early bath would have woken him up. <laughs> Well, this guy's not going away, is he? He's moved up to just under 97 averages, PR, which is a tidy game of darts. So he's keeping the pressure on Anderson. 140. And it's amazing what three or four visits to the hockey can do for confidence and belief. Defending champion here in Auckland being pushed every step of the way. One hundred. Whether to play Peter Wright or Tahuna Irwin in the quarterfinals. Sixty-five. Twenty-six. Looking to make it three 54. legs on the spin. Ohio one hundred and sixty-seven. Yeah, good last dart. 72. He may only get one dart to the double here, Kyle. Well, that was 21 scored. That's 40 scored. And that's 72 scored. Terrific from Kyle Anderson. He got there in the end. It is three legs on the spin. Well, the treble seven got him out of jail. He threw that, that first dart. was a pretty poor one. Not the goal in the seven, mate. Would have only got a dart at the bullseye. Ninety-three by hitting the treble seven. 
and gave him the third dart at the double, which he duly hit. Forty-five. Well, that six leg, brilliant six leg from Kyle Anderson may just be keeping him in this tournament. We shall see. One hundred and forty. Again, important last dart with the treble 19 from Hopai Puha. 100. Great so far from the New Zealanders on the opening night. And again, treble 18 this time to leave a finish. One Looked perfect, didn't it? Absolutely perfect. One hundred and forty. Don't forget well, he's he's he, he, fighting to be level. But on the same token, he missed one dart for four-one and a double break of throw. And now he might be able to, might be going five-three down. Astonishing turnaround. Ninety-six. Well, he hasn't actually well, dipped. It, it's Anderson that stepped it up a little bit because Pua's average is still over ninety-six, just under ninety-seven. So he's, he's keeping the performance up with a good average. Mega important leg here for Carl Anderson. Got to hold on to his throat. 125. Well, you'd have earned your bucks tonight, still after this evening. All good stuff, really good. I have to say, the way that the New Zealanders have all played. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It's really, it is pleasing that, you know, been part of the sport for a long time, we both have, and to see the improvement this year. And it's the new faces. Absolutely, yeah. And they've stepped up on this big stage, not been scared of who they're playing. I mean, they are playing the best players in the world that, that let's be honest, earn millions of pounds a year now. 95. Yeah, Peter Wright against Tahuna Irwin. Wow. 162. Fantastic from Kyle Anderson to leave a finish. And so, under pressure when it's really mattered. And it was a real good rhythm. All three of those darts, they weren't rushed. 60. It was exactly the same place for all three. That's what he's got to concentrate on when he's in practice. Stay there. Perfect six darts. To leave a possible 13 darter. But yeah, you're spot on. The, who has been around the 95, 96 mark 100. throughout the whole game. Go Kyle Anderson's up to it eight. from 82, 83 to 94, 95. Chen, I was going to say, the last start to hit the triple 20, though, although he's hit the double, so that's... Kyle Anderson made it 3-2. In the 60. next leg, Pua was sat on 32. Anderson found... His first 180 and then took out 87 on the ball. So from 3 1 down, Kyle is now one away from victory. 
And the first signs of a little bit of pressure for Puhag. He's gone down to that 94 average now, so the stepping it up of this man, Carl Anderson, has caused that. He needs to find a 140 here to keep the throw, and which may be his... 46. Yep, first signs of a crack. The foundations of home time to her. Yeah, but fair play to Kyle. I mean, he, he in the first three or four legs, Rod, he looked like a player who's been struggling all year, as he has. And he looked that player nervous, edgy, no confidence, no belief. But now he looks like the player that we saw here 12 months ago. Turned it around and will return to wrap up the win. Fifty-eight. Well, a great performance from the New Zealander. Doesn't look like being enough. Kyle Anderson finishes off with a superb 14 data and the defending Auckland Masters champion comes from 3-1 down to go through to the quarterfinals here in 2018. Much, much more like it from Anderson. A 95 average and a 6-4 win.